Well, first off, happy 30th anniversary. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> um, Thank Born, you so much, LaTroy. The um, Born to Sing debut album dropped 30 years ago. Oh, uh, my God. Isn't yes. that crazy? It is insane. It's insane. I cannot believe 30 years have gone by. Like, this is ins I just, wow. I mean, even, <laughs> even though I was... I mean, I, I'm not ashamed to say I was like nine years old at the time. Okay, Latroy, so you're making somebody feel real super old right now. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Oh my God. I remember seeing, you know, four four young ladies, yes. you know, standing there a cappella doing Jackson Five's "Who's Loving You." Who's and loving you? Switching, switching off into like a kind of like a New Jack Swing type beat. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, that was so crazy because when we recorded both of those, the New Jack Swing part, like you said, and um, the acapella part, there were two separate pieces. Mm -hmm. So we recorded Who's Loving You? you. And then the beat came in later. Well, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, they, yeah, they were separate. So when we came back to the studio, maybe about five months after recording the album, um, Denny wanted to what they call sequence the album. So you have to put each song in order, like what's gonna be number one, number two, number three through 12. Right. And when we came back to the studio to do that, he played us hold on and I was like, okay, all right, we're doomed. This is terrible. It was awful because we were so busy. Like we were so used to hearing, we were used to hearing the two separate parts for so long, for so many months. I had been listening to those separate parts. I never mm -hmm. put them together. So the um, bump and um, do do do. Ooh, my first mistake. All of that was separate from the beginning. Right. And I was like, oh my god, this is terrible. And had they listened to me, we wouldn't have had a hit. But they were right. They were right. It was so different. You know what I mean? There were no other girl groups, no other groups. Period. That were out doing that sound. So I was really proud of. I'm still proud of us to this day. That that's like, boom and system came from that. LL Cool J. Right. You know what I mean? You <laughs> and know. I mean and that's that's a that's a proper introduction because I mean Yay. your first the first look is showing you all are true vocalists. And yeah. Then, wow. And then, yeah, and then I mean, of course, I mean, you all are easy on the eyes too. But thank you. Thank I you. mean, we automatically respected you as vocalists, which I feel right. is most important. Thank you so much. Yeah. I, wow. I never even looked at it that way that we proved that we could actually sing coming out with that acapella part first. Right. That's insane. Thank you so much, LaTroy. That's like a great point of view. Um, wow. That's something to consider even for my, it's not that I'm proving that I can sing anymore, but for my solo project, because I wanted something that was um, complementary to what I did with In Vogue, mm -hmm. but it's actually me by myself you know, doing all those harmonies and stuff like that. So that's even more reason to do it. Thank right. you.